Digiopolis for life. Hello there, it's me. I'm in this kind of cavernous office, taking stuff down from the walls because I think I'm moving to another office. Or <laughs> Let's hope that's what they told me. Uh, Uncharted 3! Oh, wow, look at all the response. God, I love it when people hate me because they disagree with me over something that... I think most of them haven't played. Um, but hey, that's that's to be expected. I, I I think I've reached this point in my work where it's just kind of just, you know, uh, it's a storm. It's white noise that I can now nap to. Um, uh, yeah, the, the one thing I was going to point out is I assume people kind of rely upon me providing an honest opinion, and I did. So if you don't want an honest opinion, please, please look elsewhere. Um, I do want to talk about one thing with regard to the reaction to the Uncharted 3. It has nothing to do with, I'm not, I'm not going to rediscuss my review, nor defend it, because I don't feel that there's anything I need to defend. Uh, it's, it's this thing. It happens all the time. It's like, it's a four! It's a four! Yeah, I'm four! They gave it a 9.5 over on the other side! Yeah. Um, I am so sick and tired of numerical scores. It is probably the most intellectually deficient mechanism that we have come up with to evaluate creative works. I do not know when it started. It was around when I was born. Uh, up in San Francisco, the San Francisco Chronicle is a man doing reviews in various poses in a chair. It's a five-star system. Uh, it really, it, people write an evaluation and then we just say, oh, that equals something. Like, there's some rubric out there that somehow the two things can be equitable. And the whole idea that something that was a creative work that people did put effort into can be reduced to some type of number uh, that is uh, clearly used to judge this number against other numbers which are applied to other works of creation, despite the fact that there may be something very inequitable about the two things that are being compared. I mean, a James Cameron movie and an Eric Romer movie don't really have much things to cross, but we're trying to create an equity between them. For what purpose? Really, it is, it is always sort of baffling me what this absolute latent American need is to create contests where there is no use for contest to actually exist. Is this better than this? Is this good than that? I bought this since I'm better than you because that score gave me... Whoa! How pathetic can we be, people, that we look for so much value among what we have decided that we like, that we can't like something in and of our, our, ourselves, that we need to have this exterior validation. That is a level of insecurity that is almost terrifying. And if you look at what the effect of... This, this, this love, and this isn't just for video games, this is for all different types of culture. And really, if you look at what happens like on the nightly news, let's grade the performance of this various politician. We are just obsessed with this. Maybe it comes from the way that we are schooled and we look for this sense of validation from our teachers, giving us an A, an A minus, a B, a B plus. But I, it just, it makes no sense when you're evaluating creative work. The purpose of art is to open up this discussion, to open up ideas. It is not necessarily to get people to just like you and be your friend. Euripides and Aeschylus, they write these plays in ancient Greece that are dealing with matters of, of what your authority is, your responsibility of authority versus the responsibility of the person. Where is that line that you're supposed to cross that enters into a sort of a popular discourse? And then criticism in response to that goes further into it. It's, it's like making a really good stew or a bouillabaisse or, or some kind of gumbo. And that it all just sort of benefits from the mix of that. But when you become so fixated on this need to evaluate with something that is objective, even though objective evaluation of this is near impossible, you, you, it, it's so reductive that... There, it doesn't allow for that discussion. It allows you to sidetrack all the interesting things that are worth discussing. And when everyone gets upset with me when I said I don't know video games or art, it's because people only want to discuss it in this manner that they seem to be devaluing it as art themselves. And I'm, it's, it's, it's this embarrassment around it that makes it hard for me to say, like, yeah, I'm going to defend this, these words as something of art when everyone just kind of looks at it as this just kind of juvenile schoolyard spat. Uh, it, it really is scary. And if you look at the logic behind this love of numerical evaluations of things, you, you, you can see it in politics. There's all these Republicans that are out there that are, they're, 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 you know, debating one another. And everything that you're hearing are these sound bites that someone is actually in a sentence where they're trying to explain how they're going to change tax policy, which will generate income for one of the most powerful nations on earth to just this kind of across the board 999. It's simple, yeah, but I don't know if that's exactly something where I want simplicity to be winning out. And I think you can expect the same thing when you're evaluating works of culture and works of art that are years in the making, that take a lot of complications going into it, that you don't say it's a 4, a 5, a 9.5, or an 89.9. And we all know where I feel on what happens after you give these scores. 
They then get aggregated on a site like Metacritic, and then suddenly there is this huge objective value that is being placed on this game. And it, 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 it's, it's almost, it, it's just sheer insanity what we've done. We now know that, you know, there's, you know, deals, jobs are changed because of what this Metacritic score is. And it just makes me sick to be part of this completely misguided system. I, 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 I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep reviewing games because I feel that I would like to contribute to this discussion and see if we can foster more of this discussion out there. But I've never liked trying to put that number on the game. And I hate those pros and cons that are up there too. I spent the time writing the damn thing. Oh, let's just summarize it so people can avoid reading it. That makes me feel really good. I, I, I have to say, I'm gonna continue reviewing these games, but I guess every time I come up with one of those numbers, just imagine a little piece of me dying.